welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And it's really small, so I'm gonna add in at the end a little fashion show. I was sent some clothing from a company called Bell Lily. I'll put the name here. And the links will all be in the description box below for all the items. Um, but they sent them to me to try on. I'm really liking the quality and the items themselves reasonably priced and yeah I mean they're not like hundred dollar dresses but they're certainly cute will get me through the season um all of them worked out great size wise except for one which I mean out of six pieces of clothing I don't think that's bad at all so stick around to the end if you would like to see what I was given and how it fits my body I got everything in the women's size 3x and is a plus size the shoes I upsized uh, half a size uh, because I do have a wider foot and the hat was a little tight on my head but still I will wear it to the pool please don't worry <laughs> all right let's get started with my little tiny Dollar Tree haul they didn't really have much I went to four different Dollar Trees and I haven't found really anything good but I did need some stuff for home so let's get started first thing I found and how did I not know these existed these are colors of the world crayons what they're all different skin tones isn't this amazing how do I not know this existed and why did it exist when I was little because I certainly did not be peach right now I'm red from riding my bicycle this weekend but that's what I purchased they also had a coloring book and apparently there's markers and everything of course I don't have children so I don't really buy crayons a lot but how do I not know that? I'll just bring my coaster with me. Having some coffee. Guys, I'm exhausted today. It is Monday the 5th. If you notice, I did not have a vlog up today. I was busy. I was off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And Saturday, I rode my bike 26 miles. And yesterday, I rode it 30 miles. I'm tired today. So we're just going to take a little break. And this is in no particular order. I got some cortisone cream. I wanna see if this works. I have a prescription strength, but I need my doctor to call it in. I get eczema in the spring summertime and I have a patch on my leg. So we'll see if it'll just make it stop itching because I tend to dig at it and that's never good. So I just wanna see if this works just to stop the itching for now. I picked up puppy pad trainers. And you would say, why? You don't have a puppy. Yeah, I sure don't. However, Alex has been at the vet. He needs to have some dental work done. I've taken him twice and both times he has, let's just be honest, he's pooped and peed in his crate. He gets so upset that he just has a problem. And I, the crate that I put him in, because I know this, I can take it apart and wash it. But I thought, why don't I get some puppy pads line the inside with that for when he goes for his surgery and then if he has an accident i won't have so much to clean up so you get four pads in here i will probably just need one but they're nice to have whenever i take him to the vet i can always line his carrier with some puppy pads we're gonna see if it works because i'm tired of cleaning them up that's the truth um, I purchased some of these Lysol to go wipes. There is conversations at my office that we are going back part time, a uh, hybrid situation where we'll have to go in the office a couple days and be home a couple days. So I'm putting together like a bag of because I'm not going to leave my stuff at the office. We won't have our own desk. We'll just sit wherever. So I wanted some Lysol wipes just to clean up because I don't know who's going to be there before me. And I also, um, I'll show you in a little bit, but I'm gonna put together a little like my pens and pencils, post-it notes, some a set of stuff just to keep in my lap bag, my laptop work bag, so that when I go to the office, everything is in there or I can even leave it in my locker at work. And then I will have the things I need to set up. You know, I need pens, highlighters, pencils. I need my notepads. I need some wipes and stuff like that so i grabbed this bag i liked it because it was it's very heavy plastic um so if these wipes get wet in here or a pen explodes or something i won't have to worry about it but it also will hold a fair amount 
it can go into a binder, but I don't have a binder and it doesn't matter to me. I just wanted something decent size that I could see through. And like I said, I'll just keep a little supply of office stuff, a little pack of post-its and stuff that I need. Since I won't have an office desk, I will need to carry stuff back and forth. And this is my thought for now. If I see a better bag or if this doesn't work out, although it's pretty heavy duty and it doesn't have the slide, it has the zipper with the metal teeth. I think those last a little longer. I mean, it's fine, whatever. So I grabbed that for me to take to the office when we go back. So that's important for me. And then for the kids, my two little cousins that I like to get school supplies for, I got them each a 200 pack of index cards for school. Um, Riley will be going to college and Addison will be going to high school. I don't know if they need these, but they're getting them. They're getting them, okay? Because I feel like they need them. And I know I can get them at Target. We're gonna go to Target and get her other stuff and I'll just pick up things for Riley. But I thought this was a good deal for 200 index cards that they can use for school. And if they don't, they don't. I also found this giant Avery glue stick. I'm actually keeping this for me for when I do some um, planner stuff and crafting. But if you've got a little one that needs a glue stick, this is an Avery brand. So this is definitely name brand. Um, I do find that glue sticks, the cheaper off brands don't work as well. If you got little littles, who cares? But when you have an older kid that needs a project for like middle school and high school, I try to just always stick with name brand. And this is name brand. It's also acid free. So if you're a scrapbooker, this is perfect. So that's from, from my desk upstairs. Just for when I'm doing, you know, crafty things. I have seen this before and I just picked it up now. It's Pawns and we're gonna open it and see what this is all about. It is anti-marks for natural color, beauty cream, normal to dry skin. And I believe what it is for is like, I have discoloration, I have like sunspots. Um, right now I'm burnt because when I rode my bike yesterday, I didn't put sunblock on my back. And so I have, I may not be opening this. It's very, oh, there we go. It's very sealed shut. Um, I got burnt all over my back from my shirt. So I have like, a, the, my shirt I wore has like the racer back and it has a triangle open. And so I have a burn here and a burn here. I know, and it itches and I can't get to it. And I am better usually about um, sunblock. This is just Smooth Glow Beauty Cream. It's a little small container. would be perfect for like travel. It's like 1.35 fluid ounce. It smells like ponds. There's a little perfume to it, which I would prefer not, but... And it just says uh, vitamin B3 and double brightening formula boost skin's natural brightening ability from deep inside. So I'm gonna try this. I've been using the serums, the hyaluronic acid serum underneath. So I put the serum on and then I just put a moisturizer on. And I can tell you, I've noticed the neck wrinkles and the wrinkles right here are definitely filling in moisture wise. I have very dry skin and so I have to be careful and I'm finding that the double, the serum and then the moisturizer works great. There's your beauty tip for today, kids. Put your moisturizer on because if you don't, you're gonna be old and wrinkly instead of just old. But I think this is a fantastic just to try. If I don't like it, I only wasted a dollar. If I love it, I'll go buy a bigger bottle. That's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, they had, and they always, they always carry these monster type drinks. This is hydrate and it's sugar free. So it's an electrolyte drink, which I need, especially on days I ride. Um, there is caffeine in it. So, but I drink enough coffee that I probably shouldn't worry, but it, I liked it that it's sugar free. I don't know what the flavor is. It just says hydro zero sugar. It doesn't really tell me a flavor, it just says water citric acid, sodium citrate, natural flavor, potassium, some caffeine. So it is an energy drink, but it's what I got it for was hydration. So I grabbed two to try, it's a name brand. I've never had it before. But like I said, when I'm out, like yesterday, I rode my bike for 30 miles. We got back to the trail where we started 
and I could feel the salt, the crystallized salt on my skin. So what I've been bringing those, did you remember those big packs of face wipes we all picked up for a dollar at the, well, at the Dollar Tree, duh. I got the tea tree ones. I bring those with me every time I ride and I wipe my face off to get the salt and the nasty. It was gross. It's gross, trust me. But I realized how much electrolytes I'm losing and sodium and potassium. That's all that is coming out of my skin and it's gross. So I always need to have recovery drinks and again, you didn't care, but I'm sharing. So if you're hot and sweaty, drink something salty. I see the end of the day. I found these and they had them in natural too, but I think on this shelf behind me, when I do fall, these are gonna be cute. One, just put two out, but they're little picture frames. I'll probably take the burlap bow off. They had them in white, black, and natural. And they're, they're thick wood. And they're like a shiplap, but you can put a little picture on them. And I thought that was adorable. And again, I have, oops, I just bent that. Um, I have a little shelf, three of them behind me, but I'll just put two pictures up there. Um, I think these will be perfect, even if I do pictures or like a little something I've printed off or cut out, it doesn't have to be a photo but just kind of a, hang it on this little clippy thing right here and put it up on the shelf. And I thought that would be good. Um, so with fall time coming, I decided I'm gonna go outside of the box. I'm gonna go with like this deep purple, almost like a burgundy purple and a mustard gold for my fall decor this year. I know, crazy. So I just bought at Hobby Lobby some purple, like an eggplant color. I think it's called Bordeaux, a red wine. Colored spray paint, and I'm looking for that mustardy from the 70s color. And I think that'll be so pretty for accents in here. Because I have a lot of grays and navy and neutral. Um, I actually have a blanket on my couch chair right now because my cats... They're not clawing it like clawing to stretch their nails. They're just sleeping on it and they're stretching. My old man stretches out his claws into it. So he's not trying to destroy it, but he's destroying it. I mean, I'm being dramatic. He's not destroying it, but I'm finding little pulls. So I thought a blanket would help. I'm awfully chatty today. But anyway, I grabbed these because I think they'll be fun and I might even get crazy and spray paint them purple and gold. Who knows? Who knows what will happen? It's July, guys. And for my planner, they have these, which I enjoy. They're just paper clips with little tassels on them. And if you do planners or bookmarks or anything like that, these are fantastic just to mark your page and you'll know what month to go to, what week, what day, whatever that you're dealing in. Because I went to a new planner, I know, I bought it early. I got an 18 month planner, so it'll go from July until all of next year because I needed a larger planner now that I'm going back into the office. I need to be able to have more room to write. It's all convoluted, but anyway, this is works. Girl, just show them what you bought. Paper clips. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, the last thing I got was beauty products which I don't buy beauty products, but I did. Um, if you notice my fingernails, these are gel nails. A company called Nail Addict sent me these nail polishes along with the UV. I've been wearing them to see how they work. I'm gonna do a separate review video on them and show you how easy it is to use. And I do appreciate, by the way, y'all, um, when I put reviews out and when I put um, sponsored content because it does help me in my channel since um, you know it's free for everybody to watch when I get sponsors or, or things sent to me it does help with my channel so I appreciate it those of you that it doesn't bother and if it does bother you I'm sorry and I'm sure there's other channels you can watch that don't have sponsored content but it just helps me out to be able to continue to bring you these videos so I do appreciate it and thank you and what this does is it removes gel polish. It helps. So what you have to do to get a gel manicure off when it's the UV cured, you have to, you take, you don't have to, but you take um, cotton ball with acetone and you just wrap your finger with like aluminum foil, let it sit. And then this tool helps take it off without damaging your nail. So I needed a 
I needed this. So it's just a little tool for that. Then I got, and we should try this. What do you think? Maybelline Metallic White Gold. It is lipstick, guys. It's not eyeshadow. But it's name brand, $1. Um, I'll swatch it for you because we have time today. I found a fair amount of makeup. I'm assuming that a lot of brands are getting ready to come out with their fall lines. So this is... How do I get the lid off? It doesn't tell me. There we go. Oh, look how pretty that is. I'm going to put it on my hand. You may not be able to see it because it really does blend, but. I, yeah. I'm putting it on over like a darker burgundy. I love it. It turns it to a light pink. I love it. It's real smooth too. Oh, it's exciting. So this is Maybelline Color Sensation Lipstick. This is metallic white gold. New shades, tones. Oh, that's just different languages. They had a navy blue too, but I'm, I don't need navy blue lipstick. As much as I love me some navy blue. Now, I got... Hard Candy Look Pro Bear It Off Foundation Concealer Stick. And I think this is in medium. Questionable if it will match my skin tone. So we're going to swatch it. I am very, very fair skinned. Um, the other one I got is Ivory, which is typically what I would wear. But I've been out in the sun a little bit this summer. So I kind of thought, well, let's try the medium and see. I'm not, and I also put on Jurgen's facial moisturizer that has like a tan, a self tanner in it. Trust me, nobody notices but me. Okay, so it has its own little like bra. I don't know if it lifts up or not. I don't think so. I think that's as full as it gets. But. Okay, yeah, that is definitely not going to fit me color-wise. That's a medium. And that is way too, too dark for me. And then you blend it in with this, with this end. If I had nice tan skin, that would be fantastic. But I don't, see? It's too yellow for me. But I also got a Maybelline, same thing, Super Stay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. And this is in Fair Porcelain. So let's see if this will work. Same concept, you have a blender brush on one end. Ooh. Has, the blender brush has a uh, plastic on it has a blender brush on one end and this is definitely more fair so let's do this hand okay that goes on pretty thick but you blend it through your whole face and then you oh yeah that's me see fair porcelain i mean it blends really well it doesn't feel heavy or anything which is nice. So I will definitely wear this, uh, this Maybelline Superstay and Fair Porcelain for my Fair Porcelain. And I will see if one of the girls wants that because this is too dark for me. Um, maybe it will fit Sarah for her winter skin, my niece. she's She definitely has more olive tones than I do. Oh, I don't know but that is everything so I hope you enjoyed my small little haul I just didn't have a lot of stuff this week I went I, like I said I went to multiple stores too um, but stick around I'm gonna show you the clothes I got the company is Bell Lily if you see anything you like the links are below I don't get any money for it or anything they're not affiliate links it's just they sent me the clothing to try on and to share with you so that is what I'm doing 
All right, everybody, you have a good one, and I will talk with you later.